<clears throat> so I keep getting harassed by these stalkers on YouTube, and I'm not even on Instagram. I got IP banned from Instagram, and I got some ex-bitch from years ago stalking my fiancé on Instagram. How do I inherit all these stalkers? So I'm going to call them fucking asses out. I got this Mr. Rogers whatever that keeps commenting on my fucking video saying he's going to contact the Michigan State Police on me. Well, do it then. Fucking A. They got nothing on me. I didn't do anything wrong. I'm a law-abiding citizen. I'm currently in Michigan right now. If you can find out where I'm at, fucking whatever, do what you're going to do. They got nothing on me, and that's the way it is. So do what you're going to do. They said they're going to have a warrant out for my arrest. Well, bring it the fuck on then. i like to see the charges. What are the charges? Second bitch. Some ex-bitch from years ago. I don't really want to say her name on uh, YouTube. I'll say it fucking anyway. Jennifer, stop fucking messaging my fiancé on Instagram. Why are you stalking me? Okay. This cunt that I dated. God, long time ago. 18 years ago, I was 18, she was the same age as me, another one of my hoes from years ago, she's a hoe, she sits there and says, well, I, I didn't cheat on Rob, blah, 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 yes, you did, you cheated with Robert McGee behind my motherfucking back, so don't fucking deny it, okay, you're, you're a fucking snake in the grass, just like Nikki Fontana, Another snake in the grass whose brother, Mike, threatened to chop off my fucking head. Yes, I'm going to use, use real fucking names because you keep going behind my fucking back and saying shit. Okay? Mike Fontana threatened to chop off my fucking head because his sister tried to get with me. His sister was another whore. I'm going to have to put this video on private because, oh yeah, people will get a hold of this shit. This bitch, this bitch had an abortion, killed her kid behind her back. And she says, well, I had an abortion because of medical problems. Yeah, when you are pregnant, you inherit what they call, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a female. What do they call it? They call it medical Side effects of being pregnant, you know, or whatever the hell they call the damn thing. That That's part of being knocked up. You want to take the time to lay down, but you want to take care of your problems. Your excuse for killing your kid was, I didn't want to have a baby by that guy. And you could deny it all you want, but all your friends said the same thing. You didn't want to take care of your responsibility. At least some people I know, I'm not going to say who, but at least some people I know, somebody I know, had six kids and took care of their fucking problem. I'm not going to say any names. I don't want to piss anybody off. Somebody that you know, if you see this video, Jennifer, and somebody that I know, had six kids and took care of their damn problem. That's called responsibility. You want to run your fucking mouth about me on Instagram? I'll run my mouth on fucking YouTube. How about that? Payback's a bitch. Stop messaging my fiance. Shut the fuck up. I haven't seen you in, in, in fucking... since I haven't seen you since 2008. Okay? 11 years. The last time I seen you was at the fucking flea market. With another slob boyfriend you had. Stop running your mouth. We have not dated since 2001. And you're still running your mouth about me behind my back. I don't care what you do. Go live your life and leave me alone. You're a baby killer. Okay. And you slept around. You probably had more dicks put in you than a fucking porcupine. And everybody knows it. You probably got an STD. Maybe you don't. I hope you don't. For society's sake. Well, you probably do, but I'm going to leave it at that. So whoever this little Nimrod is, 
that's going on my YouTube channel saying they're going to call the cops on me. What the fuck is stopping you? I'm not going to tell you where I'm at. I'm somewhere in the state of Michigan. How about that? At a location unknown, which I'm not going to give out. If they can figure out, fine. I didn't do anything wrong. I'm a law-abiding citizen. I know my rights. Okay? So shut the fuck up and keep trolling me. Anyway, a couple of people I want to call out. I'm probably going to have to put this video on private. It's probably going to inherit a lot more hate. And I'm probably going to have people sending me death threats. And, you know, and people are probably going to try to lawyer up and all that bullshit. But, but when people want to run their mouths behind my back, I'll do it a hundred times harder. How about that? Anyway, do what you're going to do with this video. Just just an ex-girlfriend I'm having problems with. Just messaging my fiance a bunch of bullshit. So she, behind my back on Instagram. And I found out about it. So I'm going to run my fucking mouth on YouTube. About the whore. About the other whore. And about the, the male whore that threatened to chop my head off. Yeah, Mike threatened to chop my fucking head off. Because I, you know... I'm not going to go in details. But Nikki's... Uh, brother Mike threatened to chop my head off back in like 2002 over some bullshit that happened. We were making out in the parking lot of um, the roller rink back in 2002. Maybe it was 2003. It was a long time ago. I guess and brother Mike found out and he threatened to chop my head off. So... Somebody messaged me on AIM and, and threatened to chop my head off. And I think it was a brother Mike. I could be wrong. So. Now, years later, I contacted her. It's like, hey, I haven't seen you in a while. How you been? And she just, eh, eh, eh. I'm like, fine. That's, you're going to be that way. You could be just like fucking Melanie. Not Melanie, my fiance. There's another Melanie out there. There's another Melanie out there who's a herpes infested whore. Who was friends with another ex-girlfriend of mine. Who wants nothing to do with me. I'm not going to give her last name out. But that's it. Talk some shit about some ex-girlfriends I had. Anyway, I'm out.